What's up, YouTube? Dave here, back at you with another video. Now, if you recall uh, from the past video, I told you uh, we're going to probably do an unboxing video. I thought it'd be a good idea uh, before we actually get into the unboxing. Uh, in a few moments, uh, I'll be headed out to the airport to pick up the fish from uh, Cargo Freight. But uh, I want to just touch base with you, touch base with you for a second to talk about some things that, you know, you may not have considered. If you decide to order some fish from an online wholesaler or a retailer, a couple of things you may want to think about prior to making the trip to the airport. Now, I live about maybe 20, 25 minutes from my local airport. You may be even further away. So there's a couple of things that you might want to have in your toolkit prior to leaving your home just to make sure that you prepare in the event that something's happened. Perhaps the box gets damaged in transit, maybe one of the bags are leaking, fish may be gasping for air. So this, this is my prep prior to going to pick up some fish. Uh, I'll usually make about a five gallon bucket of water. I'll bring a couple of extra buckets depending on how many species of fish that I'm receiving, the size of the fish or whatnot, and I'll prepare fresh water prior to going to my uh, airport to pick up the fish. But bear with me, I'm going to go ahead and make this water, and when I finish, I'm going to go through the items that you should have in your toolkit. Uh, guys just finished making the water and just want to go over a couple of things with you that you may want to consider prior to making your trek to the airport to pick up your fish uh, one of the things that you may want to consider bringing with you is some sort of device to cut the bags open uh, you may run upon a situation where you may have to actually go into the bag uh, possibly some of the fish died in transit and you may have some that are still alive you don't want to li leave those uh, live fish in the bag with the dead fish because it could uh, cause them to succumb as well. The other thing that you want to consider is a product like this, a uh, stress coat or Amquel, something uh, to help with uh, uh, help with uh, slime coat and whatnot. A lot of times you'll have issues with new fish if their journey was stressful for them. So this is something you may want to consider either this, and I even use this as well. A uh, couple other things that you may want to consider bringing with you, uh, battery, uh, battery operated air pump. If you decide to transfer your fish from the bags to the bucket for whatever reason, it'd be a good idea to have that. These, these uh, are pretty, pretty inexpensive uh, these are the small ones and they also have a little bit larger model you can pick this up at your local uh, big box store like a Walmart or Target usually in the uh, sporting goods section and uh, I believe Corey also sells uh, a nice USB one that's that's probably something that we should all have in our toolkit um and aside from that uh maybe some bags if you decide to transfer the fish <clears throat> maybe you don't have enough room to carry three or four buckets and you may want to bring some bags and have one bucket of freshly prepared water that you can transfer the fish to if if the need arises so just want to go over a few of those things um my flight will arrive or is due to arrive here for 8 30 p.m so i'm going to probably arrive at the freight counter for about nine because the flight lands at that specific time if there are no delays and then you must allow them time to offload the freight and actually get it over to the freight services department so just wanted to share that with you stay tuned uh we're gonna head on out make our way to the airport retrieve these fish 
and uh, once I get back home, we're going to go ahead and get them acclimated, and we'll do an unboxing. All right, so sit tight. Wait for that. All right, YouTube. We're in the car, headed to the airport. And uh, when I return, we will have fish in hand, and uh, we'll go ahead and proceed with the unboxing portion of the video. But I almost forgot, and I would be remiss if I didn't remind you about this, but you'd probably figure it out sooner than later, a towel. At least one, because this could get messy. All right, sit tight. When I come back, we will have fish in hand. All right, guys. Just made it back to the house. Got the boxes open. And I'm proceeding to float the bags. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what, uh, what we got. All right. All right, the background noise was uh, a bit much, so I decided to do this uh, as a voiceover. As you can see here, I got some more yellow Labradins uh, to add to the colony of the group that I already have. In addition, we also picked up uh, some uh, Argentine, another one of my favorites, as well as uh, some Rostratus and some Bacordi. And uh, these, these species were chosen specifically to replace the ones that had sold my buddy Herb, uh, which was a win-win because now the fish will, will get a much larger home and I can actually get additional species uh, specimens to increase my likelihood of gaining uh, some breeders. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get these guys in the tanks. All right, guys. <clears throat> so I want you to guess what's in the bucket. Uh, it's a, another species that I, I haven't kept before. And I'd like for you guys to drop me a comment and let me know what you think it is.